right? I'm gonna get the sleeve grip on one side. When I'm gripping his sleeve, I'm not just grabbing it, right? If I grab it, he just yanks his arm back, right? You almost punch yourself. Right? My <laughs> are up. So I want to create a hook here, right? See how I roll his sleeve a little bit? Thumb in, curl the fingers, and I roll, pulling my elbow to my head. Now if he pulls, right, I go with him. But he can't get that arm back, right? If he tries to roll his wrist out, I can stay with it, stay in control. You see? Even if I grab his wrist here with a real strong, manly grip, he rolls his hand out, I can't hold it. Sleeves are much easier to hold on to, okay? So I'm gonna get one sleeve, I don't care which. My opposite hand is gonna shoot up into his collar. And you see how I'm pulling him with my legs to get nice and deep here, right? One sleeve, pull him up, try to grab that <coughs> tag at the back of his collar, okay? I'm going to step with my outside foot to the ground and I'm going to shrimp out towards it. My knee is going to come across the belly. All right, so we get to this nice scissor position. I extend my back away to get control of him. Yes? Let's get there real quick. One, hold the legs, get in, the deeper, or the tighter their jacket is, the more I stretch his neck up. Right, make his leg wonder what's going on. Shrimp out, shin across, extend myself away. See, I'm pulling his butt up off the ground. Right? I'm not just driving my knee with sternum. That's just if I want to make him mad. Right? Make him work. I just want to extend myself away and start picking him up off the ground. Cool? And then back. One, two, get in there, take your time. Three, extend, and back. Yes? Five inside this way. One, two, three.